Okay, now comes the ultimate test. Let's try this. I've uh, recently burned MacWarrior 2 here. It's a hit or miss. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. It's amazing what some people throw away. Thanks to my contacts at the local e-waste facility, I got a old PC with this thing inside. This is the first generation of internal CD-ROMs that was ever available. And it's a Mitsumi. It's a single speed CD-ROM, which means it has 150 kilobytes per second. In this video here, we want to test it and uh, see if it's still working. And we also want to test if it reads normal CDs and later on we will even test if it reads CDRs. Although my hopes for that are very small. As testing PC we are using a 386DX40 here, which already has a Mitsumi controller card installed for a double speed CD-ROM. That's why, because these CD-ROMs here they need their own controller cards or sound cards that can work with them. But that's pretty rare and I'm not sure if I have one of those. I just love this loading mechanism here. Mm, but let's test it first without CD. Let's see if the if the computer uh, finds it when we boot it up. All right, let's see what happens. All right, it's it's booting up. That's the CD-ROM driver. Ah, it found it. And again, that's good news. Looks good. All right, now comes the big moment. Will it read our CD here? And we're going to test it with an with an role-playing games archive that I that I have for testing computers here. Let's see what happens. To test it, we are going into the DOS shell. It's one of my favorite parts of these old DOS systems. And uh, yeah, now to drive D. Oh, it starts working. Yeah, looks like this is really still functioning here. That's amazing. And can you imagine that such a good piece of technology just thrown away? I mean, as you see, it, it, it really takes a while. As we say over here, a uh, good thing takes while, right? But it's working, at least for normal CDs now. Okay, now comes the ultimate test. I've uh, recently burned MacWarrior 2 here uh, in a special version, and uh, let's let's try this. I usually burn my my CDRs very slowly because that makes them more compatible with old drives. But it's a hit or miss. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. Takes a while. Oh, it has initialized the CD-ROM, although uh, CDR is inside. That's good. Oh, and again here. Looks promising at least. All right, let's see what happens when we just go to drive D and want to see the directory. Oh, this looks good. Damn, did you see it found the entire directory? Hell yeah. Okay, let's go into DOS shell. All right, it's also starting to read here. Yo, I think we can re safely say this is working. It reads CDRs, that's amazing. This thing is from 1993. All right, I think that's it for today though. Thank you all for watching, bye bye.